So I've got a problem. I have become addicted to Bamboo Labs 3D printers, and I'm here to talk with you about it today and how much it has cost me financially. So a few of you might recognize this printer here next to me. It is the CR10 V2. It was the top of the line printer in about like 2018. I had used it to replace all of my CR10 printers. Those were the original like top of the line when I started printing back in 2017. Now here we are in 2023, six years later, and I cannot believe how fast 3D printing technology has advanced and how much I don't want to be left behind. Today I'm going to be talking about how I spent 15 grand upgrading my print farm out there with Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 3D printers. So let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, I'm here to talk about my problem and <laughs> that I, uh, my addiction to Bamboo Lab X1 printers, specifically the X1 Carbon that has the uh, AMS system in it and how great it is, honestly. For a good long while, I was accumulating these printers very quickly. I had at one point in the shop 75 at least of these CR10 V2 printers running round the clock. And that was because I had to. With the quantity of orders that we get through the shop for DIY kits, it took one of these printers probably around one to two weeks to fulfill one helmet order, like a helmet like this Jack Cooper Titanfall helmet that the files will be ready for shortly. But it would take this printer about a week to print this helmet nowhere near as good as this quality. I had to have more of these style printers to actually keep up with the amount of orders that were coming through because each one took a long time to print everything. And so that's where that high number of printers came from. This is where things started to change. A representative from Bamboo reached out to me, offered to just send me one of their X1 Carbon 3D printers for no charge. I didn't have to do a video on it or anything. They just wanted to send it to me. It's like, cool. I've heard good things about these bamboo printers. I'll try it out. And honestly, we were just hooked from there. So I've bought with my own money 10 more Maybe Lab X1 Carbons and with a price range of about, uh, no wait, I bought 11 more. I've lost count how many I've bought. Them. But it's at least 10. Uh, with a price range of around $1,450 means I've spent around 15 grand upgrading my print farm to replace all of these old aging machines. So this Jack Cooper helmet was printed on the X1 Carbon 3D printer uh, in multiple pieces. You can see if I break it up here. Uh, I've split it up into three main parts. Look like at the back, front, and this little dome piece. And that is because of Bamboo's one shortcoming and that is their limited print size or build volume size. So the bamboo's build volume is only 256 millimeters cubed, so like in every direction, whereas this one is 300 by 300 by 400. The older printers have a bigger build volume. We are hoping and praying that bamboo releases a larger size X1 style that's fully enclosed, full AMS and everything like that. They seem to release everything but something like that. I know that's what the people want and so I know that somebody is gonna come out with it. But that is the only advantage that this printer has over the bamboo printers. We're talking speed, the bamboo blows this printer out of the water. I looked at my slicer settings for my CR10 V2. The speed for it was 3000 millimeters a minute or 50 millimeters a second. Now the bamboos, they have a range, but generally it's from 200 to 300 millimeters per second. So like five to six times faster than this guy here. You can see on some of the clips that we've taken, just the raw operating speed of this printer compared to the much, much slower CR10 printer here. So that is about the only benefit that this style printer has. You could maybe argue that some of the parts are easier to replace, but I would counter with the parts are being harder to find just because they're aging out. Like we replace these fans here a lot and these hot ends inside because they're prone to clogging. They don't quite have the cooling capacity as a, as a bamboo printer, but those are getting harder and harder to find. We're having to scrap more and more of these printers to just use as parts. We have a printer graveyard uh, right above me that has like the, the printer body parts of like 20 of these CR10 V2 printers that we just pick off for scraps to keep the ones uh, that we need to keep going. I've had to replace a few parts on the bamboo printer, but it was only the, the hot end. There was just a nozzle clog. Remarkably fewer times than this style printer, I've had to replace two over the 11 printers that we've had for the last few months. 
And so that kind of tells you how infrequently we've had to replace any part on the bamboo printers. Now let's talk about prop making a little bit because I think that's where our experience is. There's a lot of people that know a lot more about 3D printing than I do and than we do here at the shop, but we, uh, we finish a lot of these 3D prints. We make them look gorgeous. We do all sorts of painting and post-processing on 3D prints. I think that's where we uniquely are knowledgeable so let's talk about it. This helmet right here is printed at 0.16 layer height. Compared to prints on the CR-10, we usually do at uh, 0.3 millimeters, so almost double the layer height compared to the bamboo, and the bamboo prints are still faster. I would say finishing a bamboo print compared to a CR-10 print is probably less than half the amount of time required to finish a helmet project off the CR-10, and that's just because you are filling in much less print lines. You could print out 0.16 on a machine like like this but it would probably take upwards of a hundred hours per piece compared to this helmet which the longest part was about 12 hours so you have much less risk of print failure of something going wrong because the chance of something wrong happening over the course of 100 hours is a lot more compared to eight but finishing and painting these bamboo helmets is remarkably easier because we can print at a smaller layer height we can fill in all the layer lines we can get it all nice and smooth so much faster that really helps elevate your prop making game Honestly, we love finishing props on the bamboo printers. After having done dozens of helmets on the CR-10, the older generation printers, it's night and day. And I can only imagine where it's gonna go from here because between this and this was probably only four years, honestly, of development. And I've even printed off some of uh, our miniatures that we just released. This one uh, scaled up 400%, but Typically, these are meant for SLA resin printers, and Bamboo knocked it out of the park. It is super highly detailed. It printed uh, all in one piece. The tree supports came out super nicely. Not typically something I would print on an FDM printer, but I can now if I want to. And so I can't say enough good things about this Bamboo printer, the X1 Carbon. I only wish that they came in a bigger size. That is my only drawback so far. So we're probably going to continue replacing some of these CR10 printers with even more bamboo printers just because they're that much better. I could probably replace 75 of these CR10s with 25 good X1 carbon printers. And less printers but working faster makes everything running a 3D print farm that much smoother. And with the AMS combo, I just like that because usually it's for color switching, but I just like to load up four one kilogram rolls of filament in a single AMS and just have it churn through four rolls, switching one after the other so we don't have to replace the rolls so often. Uh, I know they're like five kilogram rolls, but I really like the matte PLA that we get from Bamboo. And so I just like to print with that instead. So I think in conclusion, this video, I just want to say like we are upgrading our technology at the Galactic Armory to produce even finer helmets for you guys. And I know five years down the line, we're gonna be looking at our X1 carbons like, man, I can't believe this hunk of junk uh, made so much work for us. Uh, but that's just the nature of 3D printing. You know, you gotta stay on top of the technology, but it's always changing uh, right underneath your feet. I'm very excited for the future of 3D printing and just at home fabrication of all sorts of special things. It's gonna be a wild ride in the next few years, in the next decade especially. But I am not a 3D printing futurist or a forecaster in any way. I just like to make cool helmets like this. And so that's my new recommended 3D printer. It is on the pricier side, but they have different models that are stripped down versions. I mean, like the X1, let me just throw this little tidbit in here, uh, uses AI and LiDAR to detect print failures. That is something that's huge because we like to go home at the end of the day and not hear an army of 3D printers running in the background. And so if a print can stop itself from failing and save not only the filament, but we've had our, like our Chidi X Max 3 unalive itself on its own print failure, it like knocked its print head off and then ripped it out of the uh, wire socket. And that could have been stopped if it sensed that it had a print failure and stopped before it just made this huge mess of a, you know, like the bird's nest spaghetti. So many cool features on the X1, but they do strip it down a bit further and reduce the price like a P1P or a P1S. 
very affordable right now. I just wanted to give you guys an update. That's kind of how the Galactic Armory print farm is headed towards this new generation of 3D printers. I'm very excited for it. It's going to be amazing, game changing for prop making and making costumes and helmets at home. And so if you're hesitant about getting a bamboo printer or anything like that, know that they have my thumbs up. They gave me the first one for free and I ended up buying 10 more because I liked it so much. So that's, that's it. They're not sponsoring this video, but I secretly I wish they would. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.